be on some other shit It's kinda bittersweet that I fell in love with it I always felt that if I always cared about how I dress That folks would think I'm married getting chicks or losing to rest But as it turns out, people start to notice you more You turn heads when you step and foot in the sneaker store Like where you get them, can I get them, what's the biggest size left And chicks I never would have seen Instead of making up memes, we need more videos of people just wearing their kicks. Co-Rider celebrated his birthday last weekend and he managed to wear five pairs of sneakers for the first time. It wasn't because he wasn't wearing his kicks, it was because he forgot he had them. What I find uncool about all these walls of ones and don'ts is that they are all dead stock. Like, what the hell is the point if you're not going to wear them? Showing them off is cool and I'm sure you all paid a ton of money to have them stored in what I'm assuming is a nicely air-conditioned room with plenty of fancy mood lighting, but can you tell me a story in those shoes? And no, I don't want to hear the story of you trying to get them because we all have those. I want to hear the memories that you had while wearing them. So it's with that thinking that I made this video, alright? I wanted to show you the shoes that I took with me on my trip to Las Vegas for SummerSlam a few weeks ago. I wanted to show you the shoes that I made the memories in with my brothers out there in Las Vegas for the weekend. So these Prestos are the shoes that I flew in out there because these are the New Day colors. They say New Day here, rocks on the side. These Nike Prestos, these were from Nike ID. You might be able to see some of that from in there, but these are a Nike ID pair that I made. And I felt like these were perfect for that weekend. And they're comfortable and easy to slide on and slide off to go through TSA. So I wore these for the trip, all right? The second pair that I wore were these Adidas Yeezy 380 Boost, all right? The Alien Blue, and these are extremely comfortable. I wore these all around the Las Vegas Strip, and my feet thanked me for it. Very comfortable, very comfortable shoes, and they went with a lot of the outfits that I wore. So I brought an extra pair of Yeezy 350s, but I wound up not wearing them and just wore these the whole weekend for the most part. All right. And the last pair that I wore was these Adidas Forum. All right. I wanted to wear my forms all weekend. I wanted to wear all the pairs of forms and nothing else, but I decided to go with a few other shoes for comfort, but these these still wound up actually being pretty comfortable, so I could have worn nothing but forms the entire weekend. But yeah, these were the shoes that I wore to SummerSlam to the actual event. And man, we took some good pictures in those. So these are the ones that you'll see me in with our red shirts and everything for the event. So when I see pictures and I look back at the event and I see me and my brothers there at the event, this pair of shoes is going to be the ones that are represented in that memory. And I just something that when I saw Cousteau say that in the video and I heard him say it, it just stuck with me. Wear the shoes, make memories, don't just buy them and and stick them up here on the wall because I do that too. Sometimes I buy these shoes, I review them for you all. Sometimes I don't even put them on. I'll just throw them up there. Okay, that's the end of the review. That's it. So I wanted to actually begin to wear some of the shoes and make memories in them. So that's what this whole video is all about. I hope you enjoy the clips that I'm about to show you from SummerSlam weekend and I'll holler at you all in the next one. Peace. Out here in Vegas, NBN reunion. We out here in Vegas. You know what I'm saying? Five years in the making. Been since 2016. Hell, it's been since 2015 since all, 15. all four of us was together. The original four. Yeah. Original four horsemen. We out here. We're gonna, we're gonna Paul and JT up there. 
we all out here doing some some shopping at some at some shit that I can't afford. <laughs> Look at these chips. I can't afford none of that. But we are here though. Oh, we know we're coming in here. Yeah. Heading into urban necessities right now. Urban necessities. See what they got up in here. Good thing is, I don't want the shoe store to ask a simple question. What size you guys go to? 13? Have a good day. Yeah, you can leave. I'm, I'm right behind you. I'm right behind they have, you. They may have a 14. They ain't gonna have no 14. No store has 14s. This wall is crazy. Urban necessities. We at the broad game. Shot me down on all these. Golly, man. These holes is nice. There's nothing I can do with nothing in here, though. Right now. Damn. Nice. Nice. Nothing I can do. Look at these. They have the Grinches over here. Kobe's. They got the Kobe's down here. Man. I can't do nothing. They don't have no 14s in here. Not even the 13 and the half for you, boy. But the walls go way up. It's way up. Crazy. Got everything. I always wanted these. I wanted to see how these were. But I could never find them. Not for a decent price or nothing. We got a lot of stuff in here, man. A lot of heat. A lot of heat up there. This must be that super. Super. The metallic ones. We used to eat all back in the day, man. Eat good. Man, this is that good wall right here. I need to see how much this shit's on. I'm gonna scratch these things to go to these old ones. These old ones are hot. Yeah. This shit in here that I ain't never even seen in person before. These jumps right there. Ridiculous prices, though. We got another one. Oh, we got some blazers over here. Ooh, look at these blazers. Look at these off-white blazers. Dope. I never seen. There's a lot of shoes I ain't never seen in person that I liked. Those are hard right there. Dope. Not the brown gang. Not the brown gang. Nice. The original brown gang. Or the second pair, I believe. Dope. All oh, the Griffies. The Griffies. That's dope. Kenneth Griffies. Okay. Okay. Yeezys. This is the Yeezy section over here. Some heat. Yeah, that looks like one of our sizes. That's fucking dope. I wanted them. I still want them. JT on feet. Or JT on feet. Got the Air Force Ones on feet. Hey, get this shit so <laughs> <laughs> The Nike, the Jordan Wall. We're in the Nike store at the Jordan Wall. That's the Jordan Ones. Two. All white threes, fours. I have these. Fives. Six. Seven. Eights. The great eights. Nines. Boo. Boo. Nines. Ten. Why the blue and black yellow? 12. They got them. I felt good. I need to get these too. Yellow. Yellow now would be fresh. The white wall. 12, 13, 14. All right. 
Everything on this wall, I have it, except for the nines. I got rid of them. But you messed with the 15? You like the 15? Yeah, I got two pairs of them. Did you like, I'm gonna wear these or those are for business? I'm wearing one of them. I didn't wear the other one yet. No, I think I wore both of them, because one of them is, uh, they almost look like Black Panther shoes. Those joints is crumbling right there. Those joints is falling apart. They're 18s. They're not just having no display right there? Yeah, because they ain't gonna ever sell these joints. They old. These joints is old. I don't like, I don't like any Jordan past this. Past the 18s? Like this 18. I don't like any of these. Until we get, these are okay. The 22s don't look too bad. These 23s is okay. They just hurt my foot. So I those sold are, them. Those are fresh too. Yeah. I miss, you don't mess with the 22? Nope. These, nope. These are okay. Nope. Nope. Those got a Yeezy look to them, but I can't. Nope. These are good. The 29s are dope. I like the 29s. I, no. I like the 29s. I have a pair of those or I have a pair of 30s? I had the 30s, but I sold them. Yeah, they too fresh. Yeah, they too fresh. Yeah, they too fresh. Yeah, out here on the Vegas Strip. Where we at right now? Some of these other places out here. Day two. The homies is up there in front of me. That's the rest of the homies up there. This is where we at right now. Let me show you all. This is where we at. Right now, Gucci, Fendi, Dolce. We heading up to the MGM Grand right now. So, heading down for breakfast. About to head down for breakfast today. This is Saturday. Uh, what's today? The 21st. Saturday, August 21st. Today is Summer Slam. That's the whole point of this trip. So, heading down to meet up with the guys for breakfast right now. Um, just real quick, the main thing um, for this video, I wanted to show my kicks and show that I'm actually wearing them and everything. We are heading into the event, walking down the street where we are at right now, this is the boy. Me and the big fella walking into the event. We in here. We in here. We in. Into our seats now. And we in, baby. Walking into the seats. JT Paul there. We walking in now. Yeah. No, don't get. We in red, man. What are we doing? <laughs> no. no. <laughs>
Now look at this shit. Fucking million man march. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs>